In travel news, for January 4th, 2023, we talk about a massive fine on cruise lines operating in Cuba, more travel chaos coming to the United Kingdom, and American Cruise Line partners with SpaceX. But before we begin, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, and this is Today in Travel. To stay updated on travel news, tips, tricks, and other insights, which will help you to travel like an adept traveler, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We frequently release new content to keep you up to date on all things travel. In July, we talked about how the Federal Communications Commission has authorized SpaceX Starlink for use on planes, ships, and other vehicles. Recently, American Cruise Line has announced that they have rolled out Starlink Internet on their fleet for all 2023 sailings. Starlink is a massive network of satellites that provide consistent high-speed Internet to just about anywhere on the planet, which makes it very attractive to travel companies. American Cruise Line operates ships throughout the United States, from Glacier Bay, Alaska, down to Napa Valley in California, over to the Mississippi, in Florida, on the Hudson River, and so many other places. American Cruise Line has an amazing small ship, all-inclusive river cruise offering, and now with better, more consistent internet during the entire sailing. In the United Kingdom, over the Christmas holiday, UK border force workers took part in eight days of strikes, and it looks as if they will continue into 2023. The continued strike actions being discussed include an expansion from existing airports to other ports, including Dover, and could take place within the next few weeks. The initial strikes involved over 1,000 union members, including passport control workers, and took place on December 23rd through the 26th, and again on December 28th through the 31st. While there was minimal impact on travel, there is concern that the number of people being stopped at passport control dropped by over 95%. Due to this concern, it's more likely that future strikes will be far more disruptive. Recently, a court in Miami awarded Havana Docks Corp over $440 million from cruise lines in a court case over the use of the port in Cuba. The ruling is against Carnival Corporation, Royal Caribbean Cruises, Norwegian Cruise Lines, and MSC Cruises, each of which will have to pay about $110 million. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The company is owned by two individuals who claim to be descendants of the last owner of the port before it was seized in 1960 by the Cuban government. So, they don't currently have possession of the port. They sued under a law that allows U.S. nationals to sue over the use of property seized by the Cuban government after 1959. Both Carnival and Royal Caribbean are appealing the ruling. Depending on the outcome of the appeal, taking a cruise to Cuba could become more difficult or costly in the future. Today in Travel is brought to you by The Adept Traveler, a travel agency that specializes in accessible travel. Our goal is to help all travelers, from the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled, to travel well. Until next time, travel well, my friends.